What is up everyone, Northside here, welcome to my channel. This is my build update for Barbarian, Blademaster or DPS build. Since they nerfed Zuna and Cold Iron Warrior, I am inclined to do an update on a build uh, as I'm using different companions now. And that is very important because my videos are still there, but they are not valid anymore because of the nerfs of the companions, simple as that. Now I didn't make much changes, so we're going to go to the character sheet and you will see that I did change artifacts. Uh, I'm not using any more the journals, but I am using them in a sense when I feel the need for that. Uh, regarding my gear, nothing really changed. I am still using, for this is for AoE by the way, this is my AoE setup and uh, you can see I'm still using Goristro Horns. My all utility enchantments are uh, Azures for the movement speed that is 75.3% but nevertheless Gurista Horns are currently broken I don't know when they're going to fix it but they will eventually so I just keep using it regarding the chest piece Blast Bone Devil's Ribcage I am using Fireburst Enchantment which I will not advise anybody who is inexperienced to use this uh, because you will not get any protection like from Bark Shield however it does for soloing, questing and uh, doing Mickey Mouse dungeons it is it is okay if you know what you're doing I am using this enchantment because it really contributes to my overall output DPS and it's it's showing on the act logs and I already made a video about it defensive slots are all brutal enchantment rank 15 and that's it moving forward to the arms are the still the same risk guard of precipitation they are giving me enough power match my accuracy which correlates with my over penetration now um, it's not all the time, but it, it is effective and I'm pretty satisfied with that. Regarding the main hand and off hand, uh, this is only for AoE. Lionheart Greatsword with, as you can see, Lightning Enchantment, Assassin, One Tenebrous. And we have Lionheart Sword Knot with two Brutal Enchantments inside, Offense and then Defense slot. Modifications are Combat Advantage and Critical Severity. And I am using, when I'm doing AoE, Enhanced Relentless Slash, as you can see here. Boots are Wasteland Wanderers, that they got Brute Advantage, and they, they, they provide me that 5% combat advantage that I really like to have kept. On the right side, we have my Artifact Set, Hearth Twine, uh, or should I say Demogorgon's Wrath, new Demogorgon Set, Azure Enchantment, Assassin Enchantment, and as you can see, uh, I am using that piece piece and as a main artifact Demogorgon's Ridge but I'll get to that. This is an old ring that gives me at will powers, accuracy combat advantage, assassin 2 assassin in offense slot, rank 15 and we got diamond ring of the spite plus 3. I don't have new rings, I don't have band of air or anything like that but I'm fully effective and I'm satisfied as I said. This is giving me my melee powers that do 3% more damage and also almost 4000 critical strike. And we got Brutal and Assassin Enchantment 15 inside. Continuous Cord, Azure Enchantment, Brutal Enchantment. I'm still using upper packed brands of the Inferno for the power, even though I don't have to. I'm still using it for the time being because the new mod is coming very soon. And uh, I'm using Assassin Enchantment rank 15 here. Regarding the trousers, I'm using Valor Trousers 1035 ac Critical Strike and 690 Accuracy. And also they have Critical Charge which uh, I have a 10% chance when I crit to gain some 25 action points. Now, regarding the artifacts, I am using the Mogorgon's Ridge. Now, the Mogorgon's Ridge is also good for actual uh, AoE, because when I pop the artifact, it does it does uh, start whacking the, the uh, basically the enemies, and every enemy that, it, that is struck it starts to rot. And by the time the, my companion procs, and I do the, my lightning attack, everything is pretty much dead. So that's my main artifact. Now, regarding these artifacts, uh, Jewel of the North, uh, we got power, defense, critical strike, and we have here power, critical severity, and awareness on our winter standard. And also I put Arthur Arcturia music box for some more power, critical severity, combat advantage, which raised my item level to 61,494, would be much higher. Um, it does, not that it matters, but uh, it does, correlate with my base damage and I like my base damage to be as high as it can be however I do not have legendary colors etc so this are this is the gear ability score history 
all in strength, all in charisma. Strength, of course, because of the stamina region and physical damage boost and charisma because of the richer spirit and forte. Now, this is me out of combat. As you can see here, my main power for AoE is, re is Relentless Slash. Of course, combined with Lightning, that's my at will. And of course, I got a Breath Strike just to, if I got a bigger enemy to finish off. Regarding my feats, the entire front row is still active, meaning Relentless Speed, meaning Blood Spiller, over penetration, steel slam, and relentless battle rage. What is active from class features is Trample the Fallen and Steel Blitz. Trample the Fallen is for the adds, and uh, it gives 5 to 10 increased damage for enemies that can be controlled, of course. Regarding my encounter powers, I'm using Not So Fast Roar for more building more de more determination or Battle Rage as they call it now and Blood Spiller or, or Blood Letter in this case for a finisher. So pretty pretty simple setup, nothing nothing, nothing much change. Boom wise, you can stop the video here and pause it and I'm not gonna go through all of my regular boons. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds and we're gonna go to the Guild Stronghold boons now. Here, we, here I am using actual Critical Severity bonus and I'm using Defense, Movement Speed, if I don't have to ride uh, and use mount speed bonus and PvP is irrelevant. Companion wise, so this guy just doing enough for me. Regarding my companion equipment, you can see I got this guiding light talisman. I got six indomitable runestones, of course, and you can see critical strike accuracy. We got silver talisman of the companion, accuracy combat advantage, two indomitables. Two Indominables and the Guiding Light Talisman of the Companion, which is actually the same as this one. Now, regarding the other stuff, Player Bonus Equip Power, acu Acute Senses are here. Space Spider Presence, Black Dragon Insight, Golden Cat Instincts, Stellar Presence, and Barbarian Sh Shaman Wisdom. Mounts, as you can see I'm using Divine Intervention, the, my Companion will slow them down, then I will just... Uh, use divine intervention they'll the lesser mobs will be dead usually by that time if they're not they're just gonna die regardless because i will pop the artifact also they will start rotting so it's really really um, simple as that uh, you, i'm using rapid accuracy as you can see here my mount bolster is at 100 percent and you can see that i'm using here now we're gonna go to the actual uh, insignias all mythic insignias all epic insignias uh, combatant maneuver Assassin Covenant, Gladiator Guile, and two Warlord Inspirations, as you can see here. So that is for the AoE, and regarding that, I'm going to, to just show you how it works. Basically, I do do this, and, or pop the artifact, Relentless Slash, Roar, I'm in Battle Rage, I take position, and I am just keep clearing the mobs, and that's it. And I tend to, if they are harder mobs, I always make sure to actually have that combat advantage from the companion. Because he is staying behind, if you wish so. Battle slash roar, my determination is full. And I just keep going and going and going and going and that's it. If I'm in trouble, I will pop Avalanche of Steel and that's it. Regarding the single target... I am using actually uh, Pseudo Dragon, so here we go, we're going to switch to Pseudo Dragon, and of course I'm using Frenzy, Indomitable Battle Strike, I'm switching from um, actual Trample the Fallen to Barb Strikes here, and of course I am changing the Companion Powers class, I'm using Pseudo Dragon, however what I do change is to Mirage Greatsword, as you can see here with Butterfly Battleton Enchantment, and to, of course, Mirage Sword Knot, so I have that little less item level, but it damage is really good for single target, having the Mirage Great Sword equipped, uh, and here is how it looks like, there we go, Blood Leather, Savage Advance, a must, Steel Blitz, Barb Strikes as class features, Frenzy, and IBS. Now, of course, on this sword, I do have a modification Inherited Brush Strike 
and I will show you the rotation uh, very very soon. It's quite simple. Um, usually I am actually changing from divine intervention to bat swarm, and that's pretty much it. You place a debuff, pop the artifact, pop this, take combat advantage, IBS, frenzy, go into battle rage, pop everything you have, and here we go. We got very nice damage, as you can see. Very very nice. Keep keep in mind, always pop that relentless slash for a debuff, and keep just keep doing what you're doing. Every 30 seconds, you will have. Uh, Mirage Grace Sword will provide when using a counter power this as you can see here and that's the rotation for the single target simple and that's it now let's check out the companions and wrap up the video companions wise for single target if you want to go full crazy I still stick with Pseudo Dragon and I have 16 double runestones here just change to the silver icon of the companion now acute senses for combat advantage that's just the enhancement however i am using now winter night discipline for increasing the damage for by 7.5 percent which i can also use for aoe but nevertheless i'm just too lazy to switch things around i'm using the bigger they are which will grant some 8.6 if it's a boss probably uh, probably a little less we got battery wisdom for boss fight 11 percent damage versus bosses golden cat for some some combat advantage left and also alchemist discipline with critical chance and combat advantage so pretty that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching this was north side have a nice holiday i will see you soon with another video tomorrow with a raffle shout out to my channel members and north side is out